The year is 2017. Donald Trump is President of the United States. Sarah Palin is his Vice President. America is great once again. Greetings America, Donald Trump here. Just want to show you how great America is. We've had a lot of people complaining that things aren't going so well these days after it became pre president. So me and Sarah wanted to show you how great it is and to... Okay, Sarah, help me out. What? Jesus Christ, get these get these people off of me. We All got, right, hold we got on, Mexicans. Donald. I'll take we care of them get, get them away from me. Get them away. Okay, thank Not you. Not a problem, thank you. President Trump. We're all watch set out, here. Watch out, watch out. As I was saying, America is so great. Me and Sarah oh. are going to make... Okay, easy there with the chainsaw. It's a little bit loud. I'm trying to talk to the camera here. Trying to I'm talk sorry, to the President Trump. Is made. I made a mistake. Can you please just give me a break? So me and Sarah are here to show you how great America is, and we're going to show you that how to succeed in the new America, in the new world. Okay, it's so great. It's going to be so good, so great. Do I hear another one of those things? Jesus Christ, Sarah, could you just take care of that? I don't. I seriously don't have time for this. Okay. Point the way, I'm President to, Trump. Point the okay. way. I'll take care of them for right. you. Over Jump here. Out. Okay, sir, so we're going to do some kind of survival training, right? Okay. Uh, you're from Alaska. You know, you're very outdoorsy. I got to tell you, I'm pretty urban. I'm an ur Did I just see a fucking grizzly bear? Okay, you didn't tell me. You didn't tell me there was going to be bears. Oh, President Trump, let me just tell you something. In Alaska, we have all sorts of bears. We have grizzly bears, black bears, and my favorite, koala bears. Can I tell you something? You are so boring. You bored me so hard. Okay, I nearly fell asleep there. I nearly fell asleep. Oh, Seriously, President though, Trump, you you're do such a about... little... Okay, you know I what? I think somebody's being a little bit of a grumpy Trump today. What do you say? Don't, don't call me grumpy Trump. We've been over this. I really don't I think somebody's being a little okay. bit of a grumpy it's kinda, Trumpy. It's kind of disrespectful, okay, and it's not true. It's just oh, not true. Oh, you could true. be the president, I'm but I'm your right, you know what? Let's not forget about God that. Damn. You didn't tell me there was going to be bears, okay? I... Get Donald, out of how is this thing still alive? I totally mowed it down. I have bears in my backyard in with Alaska an AK all the time. I shot it with an AK-47. It's not really a big deal. They're just big, fairy, furry teddy bears. I've been hit. I've been hit, Sarah. I sus I sustained some injuries. Okay. You okay. I'm a little bit more concerned. I got to tell you, I didn't expect a grizzly bear to withstand an onslaught of an AK-47. Okay. This is totally disconcerting. This is a nice bridge. And it's getting dark. Gee for, for Christ's sake, it's already getting dark. Is that bad? I think we're doomed. Oh, President Trump, let me tell you a few things about Alaska. In, in We have an entire week where it, the sun doesn't come up for an entire week. And it's just dark all the time. And and there's days where I don't even get up. I just, I just sleep all day. So can I tell you something? I've never been to Alaska. The way you're describing it makes me never, ever want to visit it ever. It sounds like a total shit pile. No sun, no thanks. Sarah, I'm really, really hungry. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I've got. What do you want to eat? What did you pack for lunch? Did you? S I got a can like, of dog food. It looks like you gave me dog food. Is this, is this nature's prime? What is this nature's? It's really not that bad, Donald. Don't knock it till you try it. Okay, I gotta tell you, it's not so bad. I'm actually gonna have quite a lot of it. It's pretty delicious. I'm a little bit surprised. Yeah, munch up on it. What are you what are you doing with the food there? It looks like you're just dumping it I'm on munching. your forehead. No, are you're just you not you're just dumping it on your forehead. You are too, President Trump. Don't be talking about it. Well that's a fun game. We'll have to do that again sometime. Look at look at all the empty cans of dog food. Oh. Hilarious. Totally hilarious. Look at well, this that's, just kicking that's around. littering. Watch this. Sarah, 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 watch this. Watch this. Oh. I missed. I totally missed. My goodness. That's okay. something we don't do in Alaska. We don't litter. What the hell oh, is this a sexy nurse? Oh, hang on. We've hang got on. a liberal. Excuse me, miss. Uh, you're looking really fine today. Uh, can you tell me where to get... Uh... Whoa. Okay, I think she hit me. I think she That's didn't, sexual she didn't appreciate my advances. Uh, you know what? She's, she's got to go. Mow her down. Mow her down. Holy moly. You're a pretty good uh, sharpshooter there with that uh, AK-47 there, uh, President Trump. Which house do you want to look at, Donald? We could play house together in one of these little domiciles. I think I probably constructed most of these. I kind of remember them. You can tell they're holding up well. Very high quality stuff. Okay. Oh, we've got Look another liberal one. over here. Oh, and there's a there's a hound. President Trump. This. There's a hound Look over there. Look at this guy. I think he's stuck. Look at him though. He's he's really trying to get a workout. I think he's exercising. Okay. He just punched through a fence. He what punched through a fence. What happened to his fence. head there? Sarah, help me. Sarah. Oh. Sarah. 
Sarah, there's dogs. There's oh, dogs are chasing oh, me. Oh, President okay. Trump, I'm li running away I just, from them. I just killed a dog. Okay, I actually I'm felt hurt. a little bit bad about that. I don't like killing dogs. I need to bandage up. I'm I bleeding out. Really like, are you actually bleeding out, Sarah? Don't leave me. Did you just dump more dog food on your eye? What was that? No, I bandaged up. I was bleeding out, President. Calm down. Okay, it looks like you're holding a grenade. It's really confusing. It's not a grenade, it's a bandage. If you want, I can bandage you up too, President Trump. You just have to hold still for five minutes. I know it's very hard for you to do, but... You're just gonna have to trust me with a bandage. Sir, I, I think bandage... we're gonna need more machine guns. This place looks totally oh. overrun. Did you Should just take talk... his head off? Should we talk about the zombie problem? I think we should probably say something about the zombie problem, okay? What zombie because problem? Because a lot of people, a lot of people are gonna want to know why is there such a zombie problem? Let me what tell you. What zombie problem are you talking about, President? Sarah's still in denial. She doesn't understand. She thinks these are just old people or confused people. They're liberals. They're they're not liberals. They're they're zombies. Okay. Zombies, I don't think zombies I think are not we, liberal. We could have a debate about that, President. Anyways, Trump. let's not do that. Okay. Yeah. Let that be a warning to you. Be careful with those let bullets. Let that be those a warning sting. to you. Okay. Okay, so here's how it happened. Basically, I became president. It was totally great. I totally beat the pants off of Hillary Clinton. The first thing I wanted to do when I became president is to get revenge on the Mexicans, okay? Because they've been beating us. They've been winning. We were losing to them so much. So I sent the T-virus over there. It turned a lot of them into zombies, okay? No big deal. But then the wall wasn't built yet, so they hopped over and they started infecting all of the American people. Okay, not a big deal, though. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't that big of a deal, just a few zombies, okay? But now there's a bit of a zombie problem. Can I address what you've just said? I'm not it's, sure that you can, but fine. You know what? I'm a huge supporter of advocacy. Okay. And the liberals, they want to take that away from you. Listen, I used to use bandages on Bristol all the day, all the time. She used to come home from riding her bicycle. Her little knee was scraped up. I put a bandage on it. She'd be good to go the next day. So... I feel like America was made great again by President Trump. It's just a matter of time before we put a bandage on it, just like Bristol. You're so right. That's such an apt analogy. I know. We just got to put a bandage on it, okay? Because, see, here, here's the truth, okay? Let me tell you something. Ben Carson taught me this, okay? This is the truth about surgery. America had a giant tumor, okay? It was called Barack Obama, okay? Now, right. sometimes when you take out a tumor, you got to cut around surrounding tissue as well. Right. right. Sometimes the right. treatment is pretty severe and it's got to be done. That's basically what we did. We had to start from scratch pretty much. So now we're pretty much working with scratch and we're going to build it back up again. But this was this was so necessary. Again. We're going to make America great again. Without this, again. America would have been so bad. We would never. W you just chainsaw down that door. My oh my. What a couple of characters. Until next time on Trump and Palin. Don't forget to like and subscribe.